Hey everybody, this is Dan O'Sullivan from advancedangler.com and I wanted to take a minute and I wanted to talk about a little trend that's kind of started out there um, where people are replacing their shallow water anchors with uh, trolling motors uh, with the anchor lock or the spot lock where the Ultrax originated the whole thing from, which was spot lock. Um, a lot of people seem to be vacating their power poles or their other shallow water anchor systems because they say that, well, I've got spot lock, what do I need it? And I'm gonna tell you that you need both. You can't do it with just one. And I wanted to take a minute, I wanted to show you why it's important to have both. It's springtime, uh, I'm in this little pocket here, and uh, no better time to show you this than when the fish are shallow, they're spawning, uh, there's, a, there's fish in these little cuts and grooves and all this stuff. And I wanted to show you why a power pole anchor is better in these kind of situations than spot lock. So we're gonna take a minute, we're gonna have a little bit of a demonstration and show you what happens when you use both and why spot lock is a great tool for offshore, deeper water type of a thing. And it's something none of us will probably ever wanna live without, but why the shallow water anchor is very important and it's not replaced by a spot lock feature. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna grab behind the camera and I'm gonna show you why it's different and why you have to have both. On Neely Henry and let's just pretend for now that I'm, I'm flipping targets which is actually what I'm doing but we're flipping these targets and let's say that I come up on something and I get bit or let's say I find a bed up here in the shallows and let me show you what anchor lock or spot lock in this case does the boats moving along and you go ahead and you hit your anchor lock and the boat the motor spins around and it starts to prop wash now if that was a bed up there and I wanted to try to keep myself from hitting that. See, spot lock makes a GPS, temporary GPS point, a waypoint, and it keeps you close to that point. And if the motor continues, so you can see this, it spins, which is great. This is an amazing tool. Absolutely uh, gotta have it fishing offshore, uh, giving yourself boat control. Now, also, if there was wind blowing from here, this would, give you the boat would be moving still because the trolling motor would be adjusting to the wind so as the boat spins uh, you know the wind would blow the boat over to here and the trolling motor would adjust and it would be constantly blowing and you saw that prop wash that I did now let's do it this way so let's say that I'm moving up into the shallows and I'm going and I find a bed fish and I want to stop the boat. So I double tap, the power pole start to go down, the boat stops and it pulls back, no prop wash, no motion, other than the boat kind of going and coming back and settling here. Now I can stand here and I can make my presentations. I didn't put any prop wash onto the nest and I am able to target that fish, target that cover, whatever it is that I want to be able to do and uh, the power poles have kept me quiet and silent and secure as, they, as they've always said. So that's why it's important that both tools are there, not just the one. So as you can see, I used the spot lock. It showed you the prop wash, showed you how everything would work in shallow water. And then I showed you what the difference is when you use the power poles now I can sit here, I can make my presentations into the cover. I don't have to worry at all about spooking the fish with prop wash. There's no silt, there's no dust, there's no dirt being blown on there. The waves aren't pushing it. I just get to sit here and make my presentations. And if I'm out in deep water, I may, you know, the spot lock helps because I can be making casts towards ledge points or waypoints offshore, or rock piles or any of those kinds of things. And the power poles are less effective. They're effective in that they help me slow my drift down if I want to by just dropping those down. So they're not obsolete in deep water, but the spot lock is better there. So that's why having both tools is better than having one. And it's just not something that you wanna vacate one because you've got the other. So thanks for taking a look at this. I hope this helps you make decisions and I hope this helps you be a better, more efficient angler on the water. And if you don't know, now you know.